Hello all you fellow level heads. I am Dr. Remember. Welcome to Music Theory with Dr. Remember. I'm your host. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys um, all the concepts that I've laid out in my latest level, Music Lesson 1. Um, and I made this level for people who are not necessarily music musically inclined and they want to get a better grasp of you know music theory concepts or they want to you know start making music and level head so here's a foundation uh, for doing all of that so I'm gonna go over all the concepts in this level um, as well as why I ordered it in this way um, if you haven't played the level yet, I urge you to play it first and then you can come back to the video. That way you can um, you can have a chance to maybe figure out the concepts for yourself. So we're going to start off here with um, the major scale. So in Western music, there are 12 notes that we use and these 12 notes can be organized into what we call scales and these scales are the foundation for making um, like literally just making music um, and there wouldn't be any way for songs to be written without them having a scale to be built off of. And so the major scale is the simplest scale to learn. Um, it's very important that you understand um, how the major scale works. And not only that, but the different scale degrees. Um, and in the next uh, level, I'm going to talk about um, in in detail all of these scale degrees and how they relate to one to one another. Um, but for now, we're just going to look at what this means. So, the major scale in C, starting with C, going up to the next octave, which is the same note, but it's just higher. Um, on C, it goes up from D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. And it keeps repeating itself. All the way up. So one thing to notice here is that I've labeled each of the increments between the notes with different colors. So you can see that most of them are blue and only two of them are gold. And so the reason for that is because each of the uh, steps between the notes are actually different and there are two types of steps so when we go from C to D da, da, that's called a whole step when we go from D to E that's also a whole step when we go from E to F, that is a half step. And so whole steps are notated by blue lines, half steps are notated by gold lines. And so whole steps and half steps have different sounds. And so if you can't tell the difference between them, You can come over here and look at this screen. 
And so this is meant to be open. Like this whole level is meant to be open, um, except for the quiz part. You are meant to, you know, go back and forth and figure out, you know, how all this fits together. So a half step is indicated here, C to C sharp. Whole step is indicated here from C to D. And below the blue line, you can see that there are two gold lines. So a half step is one, and a whole step is two, basically. And if you look over here, there's the chromatic scale. And you can see that all of the increments between the notes are half steps. And so the reason for that is because these are all 12 notes possible for Western music. So the major scale would be And so you can traverse the chromatic scale, you can take notes out of it and build a major scale. And so any scale that you build has to have some mixture of whole steps and half steps. And a scale that is only half steps is this one, the chromatic scale. Any scale with only whole steps is called the whole tone scale because a step can also be called a tone. It's just a synonym. So there's the chromatic scale and there's the major scale. And it's important to know the difference. Chromatic scale shows you all the notes possible and the major scale is one possible selection from the chromatic scale. And so the reason why it's called major is because it has a, well, two reasons. One, it has what are called major intervals, and we will get to that later. Um, but it has major intervals. And the other reason is because it sounds happy. Um, and, it, you know, you listen to it. You know, it has a very happy, you know, resolute uh, feeling when you listen to the scale. Um, and the reason why is because of the placement of the half steps. And the half steps are very crucial to constructing scales because you can have, you know, you can have whole steps, you know, in any order really, but where you put the half steps is crucially important to constructing a scale. So so yeah, just the order of the whole steps and half steps matter when you're making scales, and this is just one possibility of that. So this is just the major scale order of whole steps and half steps. So it goes whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And so that will be important for the quiz at the end of the level. Now here, you can see that each of the notes in the major scale have a number next to them. So the first note, C, has a 1, D has a 2, E has a 3, F has a 4, G is 5, A is 6, B is 7, and C is 8. And you can see that both C on the bottom and C on the top are two numbers, so they're interchangeable. And these are called scale degrees. So if you notice, the text for the numbers is green. If you look over here, the text for scale degree is green. And what this shows you here 
is that the chromatic scale doesn't have any scale degrees. And the reason why is because, well, there's all the notes there, and it's just half steps. There's not really any mood or feeling, and it just keeps going on up, right? You know, there's not really any resolution. There's no, you know, feeling of, you know, complete, completeness to it. It's just kind of there. There's just, there's just kind of notes there. And so that's why people take notes from the chromatic scale and order them in a certain way to make to make music, you know, sound you know, happy or sad or, you know, mysterious, right? All these different feelings are, you know, made from making scales. And the scale degrees over here, one through eight, these will be talked about later, but it's important to remember all of these. And I'll be using, I'll probably be using C major for um, the next part just because C major is the simplest scale. It doesn't have any sharps or flats. Um, and you can think of C major just being the white notes on the piano. Um, and the black keys on the piano are the sharps and flats. So we've gone over all that. And so now over here you have the quiz area. So here what you're meant to do is listen to the two notes and then select whether it's a whole step or a half step. And it's very clearly shown by the paths around the lock switches. So this lock switch is whole step, this lock switch is half step, and if you listen to the notes here, that is a whole step. And then same for here except the notes are different and the notes are going down. Now I snuck in a D sharp in there just to trip people up, but if you just listen to the notes, you can tell that there is a there's a larger jump between those notes. So that's a whole whole tone. And then here, you can hear that the notes are very close to one another. And the F sharp is a very close relationship. And so those are half steps. And if you're confused about any of that, you can just reset go back here and if you want you can look at the chromatic scale and take the notes so G and A where's G right here you can see that that is two half steps and that's denoted over here two half steps is a whole step and then what were the other ones D sharp and F right so let's take D sharp, D sharp and F. Those are also two half steps, which is a whole step. And then the last one was F sharp and G. If you look at F sharp and G, that is a half step. And so basically, the way to tell the difference between a whole step and a half step is 
either you can listen to the notes or you can literally just look at the name of the notes and decide. So you may not be able to tell the difference between this, you know, if you don't have the ear for it, but you know, if you if you know that there is a note between each each of the letters, you know, a sharp, you know, oh, there's no G sharp there. There's no uh, A flat, so it must be a whole whole step, right? And then for this, it's like, okay, I can't can't really tell the difference. It must be well, there's D sharp, and that's below E, and E is a half step below F, so it must be a whole step. And then here, well, it's not F, it's not F to G, it's F sharp to G, so it must be a half step, right? So you can kind of just methodically go through each of the parts and figure it out that way. Um, the other thing with music theory is not only do you have to, you know, use logic and reasoning to figure out concepts, you also have to develop the ear training and the hearing skills to be able to identify uh, different different intervals, different steps. So, you know, just going through this chromatic scale or going through the major scale, just stepping on the boom boxes. You know, kind of have that that idea in your head, and how it kind of sounds similar, right? And you you do that for half steps, you do that for whole steps. And so you just practice, you know, practice getting that sound in your head and being able to recognize that. So if this helped at all, um, thank you for watching. And I hope that you are able to at least understand a little bit of what's going on here. Um, you know, there are obviously more than just whole steps and half steps. Um, you know, what about the, you know, you might be asking, well, what about the, the, the step between C and D sharp? That's three half steps. What is that? And we'll get to that in the second level, which we'll be talking about intervals. Um, specifically intervals in the major scale and so I'm going to introduce um, seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, and um, octaves slash unisons. So, um, and I can tell you already that a half step is a minor second and a whole step is a major second. Um, and if you don't quite get that, that's okay. Um, that will be explained later. But I hope you found some help in this video. Um, so thanks for watching. See ya.